body class. Hi. Upper body and core class. Today we have a little, little bit more cardio. Okay, because when we talk about core, we need to do a little bit of cardio to kind of like melt the fat rather than just doing like core uh, strengthening work. All right, so but we definitely need to warm up the shoulders. Let's go with big arm circles. I've got Stefan here helping to dump your camouflage to the back wall. So you're not <laughs> here. You see your arms moving. That's why I'm always wearing white now. Just so I can pop out of the wall. And so big shoulder arm circles to warm up the shoulders. All right, let's go other direction. Good stuff. Arms out, go close arms. And you're going to squeeze the chest and then squeeze the back. Good. Forward and back. Good. Make sure you're squeezing the shoulder blades together as your arms go wide. Yes, it's upper body core, but we have a few squats in here. Okay. <laughs> Don't be disappointed. All right, we're going to go wide. And we're going to reach your arms out to the side, reach for your opposite toe, twist your arm, pause here, so quickly, quickly here, I want you to slow it down, reach your arm to the side, twist looking up at that arm, coming all the way up, standing, and let's switch sides. Twist, 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 from the side. Good, come on up and switch, we'll do that one more time, up to the side. Up and switch sides. All right, come on up. You're gonna heel toe your feet in to squat position. And let's go down and up. We got one exercise which incorporates a squat. Awesome. Three more. Two. And last one, talk about that cardio. We're gonna go for some jumping jacks for 20 seconds. All right, let's go. Jump jacks, clapping hands at the top. All right, for that full range of motion. The modification is just to step out side to side. You go in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. All right, arms up and knees in. Knees in. Good. Make sure the core is working here. And then we're going to hold a plank position in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and rest. Good. Walk it out into your plank right here. Okay, we're gonna hold plank for 20 seconds. So you're in your perfect plank. Nice straight body line, either from your toes or your knees. Actively draw the navel into spine, squeezing glutes. Press up between the shoulder blades. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Drop down to your knees. You are not in tabletop, so your hips are shifted forward. Squeeze your glutes. Let's go. Push ups down and up. We're going for 10 perfect push ups right here. Just to warm up. So get the chest as low to the ground as you can. We're halfway through. Good. Four more. Three, two, Last one, push the hips up, push your hips all the way back, reach your fingertips forward, rest your forehead down. All right, grab a quick sip of water, we're going to get started. All right, so we have a standing series and a mat series. Or a segment, I should say, segment. So we're using medium weights today, I'm using my 10 pound dumbbells. And we're gonna go pretty easy to start. So bicep curl to a lat raise. Um, palms are facing forward. 
feet are hip distance, knees are soft. You're gonna curl and then raise it up to the side, elbows up to shoulder height. All right, slowly bring it in and down. So curl and raise, bring it back down. All right, we've got 10 here. So if that lat raise is really hard with the weight you have, you can go one arm at a time. Okay, one arm at a time. But I wanna see the elbows come up to your shoulder height. And then keep the weights nice and wide so you're strengthening through the side of your body. Good, we got four more here. Take your time with it. Don't lose any momentum. Last three. Two more. And last one. Okay, we're gonna do jump jacks. 20 seconds in between every exercise. <laughs> it's not necessary. What the? Okay, guys, we're just gonna spike the heart rate up. Let's go. 20 jump jacks. If you wanna make it a little harder, keep your knees bent. All right, knees bent so you stay low in the lower body. Almost there. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Grab one weight. Okay, we're gonna go squat, regular squat. You're gonna hold at the bottom, raise the weight to your shoulder, driver, and then down, <laughs> and then come up. All right, guys? Okay, I'm just gonna show you from the side. You're gonna squat low, raise, drive, and then down, and up. Okay? We got eight of these to do. Ready? Let's go. We squat, raise, Drive both directions and come on up. Good stuff. Good, so you should feel this in your core as well, but mainly it's shoulders. All right, obviously you got the lower body going for us right now too. Gonna help to burn that body fat. All right, and get your heart rate up. Try not to shrug your shoulders here. Get your hips as low as you can. Awesome. Let's go. Three more. Good deal. I know you can go lower than that. I see you, girl. Yeah, there we go. I see you guys. <laughs> okay, last one. And release. Okay, this time we go high knees. So you're here. All right, for 20 seconds, ready? Let's go, knees in. Good, the low impact option is just a step, like we did in the warm up. Okay, but try to add that block, get your heart rate up. Awesome, 10. Five, three, two, one. Do you like my counting? <laughs> Very consistent. Okay, we're down to the mat for renegade rows. Yeah, these are hard, legit hard. So you need your one weight. You're gonna do these either from plank. So that weight goes under your shoulder. From plank, you're gonna row and down. Row, check my hips are not moving, or you are down to your knees. Try to be in modified plank from knees or Lastly, you can go from tabletop. That's the easiest option, okay? So choose one that works for you. We're gonna do 10 on one side and then 10 on the other. Ready? Let's go. We row it in and down. Make sure you pause at the top of that row and down. Good. All right. Good. Stop not looking good. Everyone online looking awesome. Try not to move the hips. Four more, three, two, and last one. Awesome. We're gonna switch sides, just wanna take a moment to remind you where you wanna feel that. Okay, it's a ton of core work, but also you wanna be putting this in the back of the arms 
and the upper back. So if you feel it too much in the front of your body, you need to engage the back a little bit more. All right, switch sides, switch hands. Come back into your plank or tabletop. Let's go, row, speed, release. Two, good, squeeze the glutes, stay nice and stable. Good, we got five more here. Four, try not to move the hips. Three, two, and last one. Come all the way up to standing for your 20 second jump jacks. Ready? Are we ready, everybody? Let's go. Clap at the top. Remember, stay low with the lower body. Awesome. Just a quick 20 seconds to your last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and rest. Okay, next exercise down to the mat. We did this in a full body class. You're gonna come down to your knees, place the dumbbell on the outside of your knees. All right? You're gonna walk forward into your push up position. So your hips are forward. You're gonna do two push ups from knees, okay? So one, two, walk your hands back to your knees, hips over heels, weights on your dumbbells, drive your hips forward, curl, hammer curl, two presses. All right, then you place the weight back down, walk your hands back into your push up position. Are we ready? Stop up, thank you. Move them away. Okay, we're gonna do five of these. So in total, you're gonna do 10 push ups. Okay, two push ups and two shoulder presses. I'll walk you through. So let's walk our hands forward to our push up position. From knees, let's go. One, two, walk your back, hips over heels, grab your weights, hips forward, bicep curl, two presses. Good, weights down, walk forward. Two push ups. Good, walk it back. Hips forward, squeeze glutes, curl, two presses. Awesome, everyone's got it. We got three more. Two push ups here. Yep, slug it out. Hips forward, two curls, sorry, one curl, two presses. Amazing. Let's go. Last two. Back. All right, good. Everyone's got one more here. Let's go walk it out. Two push ups. Walk it back. Finish strong here. Curl with two presses. Okay, good work. Weights down to the side when you're done. Take your time. Make sure you finish. Finish that rep. Come all the way up. We got those high knees again. Okay, leave your weight. This is round one. Okay, arms up. Let's go, knees in. All right, can you do two knees on one side? There you go. Awesome. Does this feel like aerobics, guys? <laughs> Isn't it kind of fun? Throw back. All right, we're almost there. One more on each side, and rest. Okay, how are you doing? That's one round down, feeling good? Okay, awesome. So grab a sip of your water. Can you turn the down? What? Can you turn the third set there? Yeah. Oh, what? Grab some water. We're gonna do all of that again, okay? Huh? Yeah, I just want it to stop. Okay, we're going to play a bit loud music here. So now we know what we're doing. Grab your weights. Grab your weights. We got bicep curls and lat raises first. Ready? Let's go. We curl and raise it up. And down. Good. Awesome. So 
your knees are soft here, your core is on. So good. Isn't it nice just to focus on the other body sometimes? <laughs> All right, you got four more. Last three. Feel this work in the side of your body, not just the shoulders and the biceps. Good, last one. Amazing, you know what you gotta do. You gotta jump jacks here for 20 counts. Let's go, clock at the top, stay low. If you wanna make it harder, you're going jump jack to curl. Like it's like a ball, you reach for your ankles. All right, you yellow. Yellow, yellow. Don't have to do this. It's up to you. We got five seconds left. Three, two, and done. Good work. Grabbing the one dumbbell now for your squats to front raises. Okay, weight in hand. Arms are straight. We got eight. Let's go. We squat. Raise it up. Turn, turn, lower, and up. Keep your chest up the whole time. All right, chest facing forward. Getting that, oh my gosh, is that a real baby? <laughs> you, you, you're amazing. Let's go down. I love that. She's driving her baby. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I wish you were in the studio right now. Definitely on this way. What? Maybe don't do this video. Right now. <laughs> She's got good control though. Let's go. Okay. All right, we got three more right here. Maya is loving the movement, I'm sure. Adding attention. She misses me, doesn't she? Two more. <laughs> Good. Keep your shoulders drawn back. Remember, shoulders back. Last one. Woo. Okay, all done. You know you got those high knees. Right, ready, arms up, and let's go. Two on one side, if you can. There we go. See up, you're a natural. Natural demonstrator over here. Good, keep going. If you want to pick up the speed, pick up the pace, get your heart rate all the way up. Almost there. One more time each side. Here we are, and we are done. Good stuff. Okay, we got those renegade rows. If you need a sip of water, go for it. Go, go, go for it. Renegade rows from the mat. Choose your plank position or your tabletop. All right, this time I'm gonna go for my knees, modify plank. It is actually just as hard. It is so hard. Okay, so hands right under the shoulders. We're not in the Superman position. Let's go, throw it in and down. Feel your core working so hard. Good, pause here at the top. Get five more. Four, raise the core, squeeze the glutes. Three, go go faster than me. Last two, and last one. So which side? Reset, everybody. Reset, reset. Are we ready? Let's do this. Let's go. Throw it in and down. Pause at the top two. I'm gonna count. So you stay with me. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. Good work. You know you gotta come right on up. Right on up, everybody. Jumping jacks of your choice. I'm gonna go toe touches. Everybody, let's go. Clap and down. 
Okay, you can do any kind of variation. I just want to see you move. Get your heart rate up. Quick, 20 seconds, almost there. Let's go five, four, three, and rest. Walk it up. Set yourself up for those push ups. All right, with your weight beside your knees. Okay, are we ready? You're up on your knees first. We're going to walk it out. About five of these. Two push ups first. Let's go. Walk it out. Two push ups. Walk it back. Drive the hips forward. Curl. Two presses. And down. Walk it out. Hey, if you really want to do push ups from your toes, go for it. Or you can do three push ups. All right, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more. The work gets for you. If it's ever too easy, add something on. If it's too light, do the modification. Sorry, too hard. All right, we got two more. Let's go, two push-ups. Drive the hips forward first, squeeze the glutes. Curl, two presses, make sure you don't lean back. We got one more. Take your time to finish, we will wait for you. I mean, not forever, but <laughs> we'll wait 20 seconds. Woo, and done. Yes, finish off with those presses. We got one more cardio thing to do. Come on up to standing, ladies. All right, this time we're going to go high knee and kick. High knee and kick. All right, ready, arms up. Let's go. Knee in and kick. Knee in and kick. It's just a gentle kick. The kicks don't feel good for you for your knee or whatnot. Just stick to the hands. Make sure the core is working. Woo! Good stuff. Almost there. Can you pick up the speed? One more each time. And done. Done, done, done. Two rounds done here. Grab some water. Okay, we do have one more round, sorry, okay, it's 10 minutes of work, okay, one more round, and then we're down to the mat for the rest of the session. Okay, so we got those bicep curls first, so you, you, we can probably just go like this with a uh, Maya curl, and then press straight up if you want. If you're wanting to incorporate her. All right. Everyone else, you got your dumbbells? Let's go. We curl. Raise it up. All right. Core, no matter what you're holding here, what you're working with, your core is working hard to protect your back. And you're breathing on exertion. Where is the hardest part in this exercise? Right here. Exhale as you raise it up. Awesome. Moving nice and slowly. We've got five more. Four. Remember your knees are soft so that you don't arch into your back. Three. Two. And last one. Okay, lots of cardio today. Drop your weight. Jump down. It's 20 seconds. So much can happen in 20 seconds. Ready? Let's go. Whatever you want. You're here. You're here. Or you're here. All right? And know that this is your last round. So push yourself. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one and back. Good stuff. Walk 
We got squats next with a French raise, okay? And we're gonna drive your baby. One dumbbell knee in here. Feet are squat position. Ready, let's go. Squat, raise, drive. And stay low for the whole upper body. Work, and then drive it up, good. Stay low, stay low. So what I want you to do is make sure the shoulders stay nice and low away from your ears. So you're not shoulder shrugging here. We're just past the halfway point. We got three more. Woo. Two. Good. Walk it out. Uh-oh. 
This sounds crazy to me. <laughs> it reminds me of being in the club. I'm trying to like stay away from it. <laughs> Remember those days? When ML Cool J comes on, you're like, ah, I'm not single. <laughs> Good. This is three. We got two more. What should I have? Not my deal. Oh, <laughs> Last repetition. Let go. Finish strong with your two presses. All right, done. done. Come all the way up to standing. Oh. Chop, chop. All the way up to standing. <laughs> all right, arms up. Let's go, knees. And kick or double knee. We're almost there, ladies. We're down to the mat after this. For more core work. Go, go, go. This is your last opportunity. Let's get that heart right up. Let's go. Take it off the mat. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three. Two, one, and done. Good work. You did. Grab some water. Okay. We got some plain work. All right. Here we go. Okay, so first exercise is a plank walkout. We're from a plank position here. You can absolutely use the knees as well. And you're gonna walk your hands forward into a superman, super woman position. All right, you're gonna put your core on fire and then you walk it back to plank. So I want you to hold that super woman for at least two seconds before walking it back. Like I said, you can do these from your knees. If you're just not in tabletop, hips are forward. All right, ready? Everybody. Let's go, walk it out. Super woman, pause with me here. And walk it out. Walk it out. Keep your shoulders down from your ears. And walk it back. Good. Keep going. Core is working super hard here. We have three more. Keep the shoulders down from your ears. Core, core, core. Two more. Hold, Superwoman, with me. Walk it back. Good, last one, walk it out. And walk it back. Amazing. We're moving into our side plank. All right, so, side plank, there's so many variations. So find one that suits you. Your hand is on an angle. It's not right under your shoulder, okay, on an angle. You can come to your feet, all right, or your knees. Okay, so either is fine. If you have wrist issues, then you're down onto your forearms and you lift your hips. Okay, so I'm gonna come to my feet and my hands and then lift my hips up. Yes, yeah, that is perfect. Good. So where do you want to feel this? We were working our lats earlier. So press your rib cage up. Press your hips up to the sky. We're just gonna dip, tiny dip, and up. Well, I guess it's hard for you, right? If you're on your knee, good. You can still do these from your knees. All right, we got five more here. Four, three, two, last one. Come all the way down. So which side? So if you're on your knees, you just dip like this. All right, okay, so come on up, wherever you're at, press your rib cage to the sky, press your hips up, ready, let's go, and up, down, and up, tiny dips, good, yo, we got five more, four, three, two, last one, all the way down. 
You guys are gonna grab your dumbbell. All right. And you're gonna extend the weight up to the sky, and then legs come to tabletop. All right. What you're gonna do is press your low back into the mat first, and then you're gonna reach your arms back. And then exhale, pull back to the start position, right over the chest and shoulders. Inhale, arms back. Make sure your low back stays on the mat. If this feels good, you're going to lower your legs down as well. So you're going to lower your heels down to the ground, legs stay bent. And then come back to tabletop. Inhale, wide. Exhale, come back to center. All right, the whole time you're keeping your low back on the mat. Your modification could be to just lower one leg at a time. And you also don't have to add the arm. You can stay still right here. And just go one leg at a time. Focusing on your heel taps instead. Especially if you're a new mom. If you don't want to put too much pressure on the core right off the left. Let's go. Inhale, wide. Exhale, pull. Let's do five more together. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Three. Two more. And last. One. Yay. Okay, drop that weight. We're back to the top. Two rounds and then we stretch. Okay? So turn around back into your plank position. And. We're doing plank to superwoman walkouts. All right, so you're here in plank position. Ready, everybody? You walk your hands out into a superwoman position. Keep your hips level with your shoulders. And then walk your back. Absolutely, you can do these from knees, remember. Walk it out. Pause here, keep your shoulders down from your ears. And walk your back. Try to stay with me. Hold as long as I am. Pause here, superwoman. And walk it back. Walk it out. Pause, hold. And walk it back. Good, let's go. Three more. Shoulders down. Walk it back. Last two. Come on, let's go, let's go. I know it burns. It burns so good though. Last one. And walk it back. Stuff. You need a chop to close take it here before we come into our side planks. Okay. Let's come into our side plank position. Okay, so whichever variation you want to take or modification, whatever position. All right. Good. This time you want to hold it up and then we're going to reach your arm under and then twist up. Keep that rib cage lifted. Stay lifted through the shoulder joint. Good. Your whole body will rotate to, to, go, <laughs> to reach under the arms. You're good, you're good. You guys are doing awesome. Three more. We've got this up now. Two. Almost there. Make sure you're breathing. Last one. And lower. Switch sides. It's so hard, right? It's so hard. We're almost there. Okay. Come into your side plank. Lifting up. It helps when you press up through the rib cage. All right. Let's add the arm. Reach, rotate, and extend. I know it might sound silly, but feel beautiful in this movement. Nice elongated arm as you twist and reach. All right, we got five more. Four. Three. Last couple here. And last one. Amazing. We're back down to our back. <laughs> last, <laughs> last exercise. Okay. So you're holding one weight. You also don't have to hold the weight. Maybe just reach your arm instead of holding the weight. Legs are up to tabletop. 
Press your lower back into the mat. Let's go. We'll reach the arms back and the legs at the same time. Exhale, pull back to center. Good. Lower and upper abdominals, working hard. Connect to the center. There's no swinging movement. All right, it's all controlled. Keep going. How's your lower back? That will be my constant reminder for you during the set. Okay? And I do that because mine is constantly trying to bend off the back. So I know how hard this is. Four more. Last four. And we stretch it out. Move with breath. Exhale as you pull back to center. Two more. And last one here. Drop your weight. All right, we're rolling over to the side. So I said, are you okay? <laughs> we're gonna stretch out our core first. So you're lying on your stomach. Okay, legs extended out. Hands by your chest, shoulders down from your ears. Nice long. Take a deep breath in and exhale, press up to your hands. Pull your chest up. Okay, so draw the shoulders down from your ears. Release everything so that you can really feel the stretch in the front of the body. Can you think about reaching your chest to the sky? If it's really tight on your lower just bend the elbows a little bit. Take one more deep breath. And exhale, knees wide, push back into child's pose. Hips back, back, back. Reach your fingertips forward, chest to the left, forehead resting. All right, we're going to push back into a tabletop position, something that just feels really good. You're going to take your right arm through the left, and then exhale, twisting open. Reach, reach, reach. Good, two more. Good, last one. And switch hands. Reach that left arm under your right, reach and twist. And exhale, rotate, window open. Two more. And last one. All right, pop back into that plank position. Just to walk back up to standing. All right, walk your hands back to your feet. So much complaining over here. That's okay, you're right, what's happening? All right. <laughs> and then rolling all the way up to standing. Your head comes up last, shoulder rolls at the top. Good. You're gonna do one more stretch, guys, for your last. So you're gonna inhale, reach your arms up, grabbing one wrist and gently pulling over to the side. Make sure you draw your shoulders down, nice long neck here. Come back to your center, other side. Switching wrists. Good, come back to your center, same arm goes across your chest and hooking in. This is your shoulder stretch. Switch arms. Okay, release, clasp your hands behind you. Roll your shoulders back. And all you're going to do is tuck your chin into your chest. Stretch for the back of the neck. Roll your head over to the right shoulder, right here on the right shoulder. Come back through center, over to the other side. We'll do that one more time because it feels so good. And rolling through center, over to the other side. And release. Ooh. 